How's it going pros? Welcome to the latest video and in this video I just wanted to apologize for not being able to complete all the quests in com all the quest completion episode 2 because I was a little bit confused even though it was extremely obvious and I wanted to finish one dialogue and one quest that I didn't finish and this is going to be it for this video so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go grab our quest from this guy and his name is Lieutenant Oswald, and he says, I've picked up a fairly straightforward location to scout out. Would you be interested in taking care of it? Okay, I'll take a look. Hunt for jet fuel. So over here, we need to clear the airport horde beacon. We actually need to spawn in a horde beacon. I was pretty stupid for not figuring that out. I don't know why I didn't figure that out. It seemed pretty obvious. But anyways, let's take the quest, and let's head over to the airport. Make sure you keep traffic track of everything, especially jet fuel if you come across any. We're in emergency reserves right now. Cool. Anything to report? Nope. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to fly over to the airport and place down the horde beacon and clear it with our new bayonet and probably a drum because we're going to need that. By the way, you can stab NPCs you don't like. There you go. Also, guys, additionally, when you get the quest to make the bayonet, you also get the quest to make the what's it called the quad barrel so over here you do get the quad barrel blueprint along with it so we are also going to be crafting that and we are also going to be ranking up to i believe lieutenant but that's for another part of the video let's head off to the airport Alrighty, guys we are here i'm feeling like putting the horde beacon in the middle of the entire airport so that i can actually fight zombies from all around if that makes sense so let's go in start clearing up some zombies okay I'm gonna place it right over there next to the plane let me just pull it out ah what a wonderful day to clear some hordes all right this should be a good place hopefully I have enough ammo didn't really check okay let's take them down Oh shit, not a good idea to use the bayonet, not a good idea to use the bayonet. Holy crap, there's a lot of them. Oh, oh! Bayonet time, bayonet time. Not a good idea. Although it does have pretty long range, I have to say. Oh shit! No, 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 no! No, no, no! Okay, that was a bad idea. Why can't I sprint? Okay, I'm not gonna die. I refuse to die. I refuse to die. Where's my MRE and my med kit? There we go. How can I not clear a freaking horde without dying? That's pretty insane. Come on, zombies. Oh wait, they're not hoarded anymore. Looks I'm gonna like I'm gonna have to try some more advanced methods after all. <laughs> Alright guys. This is how we do it professionally. Time to kill some zombies. Mega zombie, oh god. That was not planned. Okay, I got him. I might be running out of ammo. Oh, look at all the deaths. Oh shit, they destroyed both fences. That's not good. That's not good. What the fuck? Guys, this is insane.
why are were there two mega zombies? Just why? Did I clear it? Whew, that was insane, guys. There we go. How many zombies did I kill? There's like two more zombies in the entire thing. Maybe one, I don't even know. Okay, but we're going to find him, and we're do this freaking achievement, okay? Because I'm not going to make a part four. Couldn't couldn't finish uh, the second part where I said I would finish the achievement. No, that would be stupid. There he is. All right. Anyone else? Oh, shit. There we go. We should be good. Horde Beacon should disappear. Yes, we got the quest. We cl finally cleared the airport Horde Beacon. So guys, just a tip. Um, first Horde Beacon didn't work, probably because I left. So make sure you stay within the zone. Oh, we got another Hell's Fury. That's, that's pretty cool. I, I don't really need two, so I'm just going to keep this one. And uh, my Maple Strike, I just love it so much. I just love it. There we go. And uh, Range Finder, that's pretty cool. Desert Falcon. Um, let's make some space for that. And let's head back to the Coalition. I mean, to the fleet. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, guys, let's turn in. Hello, sir. I am a little hungry. Okay. So, Lieutenant Oswald. I scouted the airport and I nearly died because two mega zombies came after me. Look at him smiling. He wanted me dead, I'm sure. Alright, continue. No sign of the jet fuel? This report is pretty detailed. Nice work. <laughs> I've got another location for you to check out, but it's a bit trickier. Interested? Okay, I'll take a look. Clear the tank factory horde beacon. Cool. Russia is many warehouses filled with old World War II Cold War machinery. This is one of the Northwest's in particular note. Satellite... Oh shit, my TV's about to turn off. Because I don't have a monitor, I have a TV for some reason. Anyways, it's a really small one. Anyways, now I can see again. Satellite images from six years ago differ from the newer data that's suggesting that it brought it back to the old factory. And Lieutenant Oswald thinks it might have been producing new armored vehicles. Okay, so we gotta check out if they're producing tanks. And that's it, and we gotta place a horde beacon. Cool. Watch out for any salvageable tank machinery. Awesome. Well, looks like we gotta go clear out another horde. But firstly, I think we should talk to the captain. Hello. You've been an exemplary ensign, and it's about time you were promoted. If you're ready, I'm prepared to make you a lieutenant. Oh yeah. Thank you. I won't let you down. I'm sure, don't worry. Here are your new lieutenant fatigues. Oh yeah. Anything else to report? Nope. Guys, we got some new clothes. We get armor as well. That's pretty dank. Alright, wait. Let me equip that. No police vest. Coalition helmet. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, I'm gonna wear these clothes. I gotta wear them. Okay, awesome, and uh, now we need some pants, I believe. Pants, 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 pants. I don't see any pants, um, so we should be good. I believe now we should go start the Horde Beacon. Let's go. Okay, guys, we are now at the tank factory, and I believe it is time to take down all these zombies like real men. No fence wires, nothing. Are we ready? Let's go. I think I'm going to have a lot of them chase me. So I'm going to do like one big line. I should run through all of these. Just like that. Oh yeah. Oh shit, I'm getting hit from behind. Run, 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 run. Doing this at night would make it a lot scarier, to be honest. Oh god. Make a zombie. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Watch out. What? Oh. I think that's all of them. Let's see if the horde beacon disappeared. Looks like it did. 
and the quest should be complete. Mass production. Clear the horde beacon. Oh, let me check for some loot. Ooh, an echo. I never actually found one of these, like, legit in survival. Um, what should I drop? I'll drop my beautiful bayonet and that, and I'll grab the echo. Cool. Let's head back to the Liberator. Here we are. Lieutenant Oswald. I scouted the tank factory, sir. All right. Mass production complete. We've earned our experience. And there we go. Interesting, interesting. Sounds like it might be worth some sending a team over there in the future. Cool. Is that a hit for Quentst Nelson? We'll see. You're still interested? I got another location for you to check out. Okay, I'll take a look. The Wolf's Den. Cool. Let's clear the military base horde beacon now. 100 experience. That's actually pretty good. And 5 reputation. Accept. I'm hopeful there will still be a few functional military vehicles and supplies left over. Cool. Nothing. Let's go. Alright boys, I'm ready to take on this horde beacon. Let's go. Oh, they're trying to flank me. Oh, there he is. There we go. <laughs> I was looking for him. I'll be taking the grenade, and I'll also be taking the drum. I need that. Cool. Whew, that was intense AF. Can we craft the shotgun? Um, do we have the blueprint? Here it is. Cool. We need crafting three, and we also need three scraps. I think I have enough metal to make scraps. Let me see. Um, scraps, 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 scraps. Somewhere here. No. Probably here. There we go. One scrap, four scraps, and crafting three. Guys, look at that experience after all the zombies. Jeez. Oh my god. That was pretty insane. And then we go over here and we can craft the shotgun. Quad barrel. Oh yeah. <laughs> my god. This is pretty insane. Let's look at a rangefinder for this thing. The range is 10 meters. The bullet won't hit you if you're farther than this. And it probably won't do any damage from here. Whoa. Insanity. Oh, let's take the plane home. Mr. Plane. Hello. And zero gas. Great. Is this going to be our last quest? Is it? I have a feeling it's not. Yes, I scouted the military base. Whew, finally. Already partially looted figures. The bandits tend to scout these places for as many weapons as they can get their hands on. Ooh, there's bandits. That's another hint, guys. This location is very promising, but according to the port, it's irritated. Interested? Not really, but I guess I'll take it. WMD. Clear the missile silo horde beacon. Ah. <sighs> Anything for you, Lieutenant Oswald. We have to find out if the warhead is still active. Otherwise, if it falls into the wrong hands, we have a big problem. <laughs> you don't say. Alright, nothing to report. Looks like we're heading over to Silo 22 to kill some zombies. And hopefully it's going to be the last one, because that's a lot of quests. And I wonder what happens when we get to 100 experience. 65. We're going to have 75 by the end of this quest. We probably get the achievement which would be really cool. All right, um, do we need anything here? We crafted the shotgun, so maybe we should use it. Let's head over to the silo. All right, guys, we have the freaking horde beacon. I guess, I guess we need to place it now, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna do it back here because there's not gonna be as many zombies trying to maul me. I can't destroy that, so I'm going to go closer to an entrance. Oh, I take splash damage from that thing as well. What? Zambi, you did not just do that. Okay. There's a tank as well. That could be pretty cool. Okay. 
Let's place down the horde beacon. Oh god. Here we go again. I also don't want to die from radiation, so let me just change my filter. There we go. Is that a mega zombie I hear? Sounds like it. This shotgun is useless. Nope, not getting hit from that again. What up, man? Oh shit! I barely dodged that. Okay, awesome. Whew. God damn. These fights are intense. Ooh, a nice Metamora skin. I think I prefer the Metamoras over the Echo. And I'm going to take this and strip it because I already have one. Okay, awesome. Ooh, I might need the high caliber. There we go. Cool, and we can also sell it at one of the NPC shops, which is really nice. And a tank. Oh, what a surprise. Screw you. Nobody likes you. Can we destroy it with a minigun? Probably, because it's high caliber. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's head back to, to base and turn in. And maybe it's going to be our final quest. Maybe not, but let's go. Whew, there we are. I scouted the missile silo. Scouted, quote, quote. <laughs> there we go. Let's continue. Sabotaged? Well, at least that's one thing we didn't. Ha we don't have to worry about. Cool. I think it's time we can check out some original Russian FOB. Be warned, it's very radioactive and dangerous. Interested? Sure. Clear the oil rig horde beacon? Okay, guys, that's going to be impossible. It's going to be... I don't... I don't I'm, hacks! I need hacks! <laughs> Find as much evidence about the accident and possibly any information they recorded. We know it's flooded with radiation, but not much more. Thanks, man. Thanks. Oh, I know exactly how we're going to do this. <laughs>